<laughs> what is going on everyone now before we start i got a comment earlier on one of my recent videos which i was talking about this situation with the whole flight mcqueen ddg and soluminati and i'm gonna be honest i have to address it and i'm gonna probably put it on screen if i can find the comments so you might see it like right above here and shit but yo some people need to fall back and relax because this is only drama on youtube this ain't real life dudes finna pull up get shot yo relax the fact that this kid wrote this shit has nothing to do with me which you're definitely right about it and you're entitled to your own opinion you can tell me yo i don't even want you covering this mind your business you have every right to say that but to sit here and type whether on your android htc evo your metro pcs phone whatever you're using or your compact computer and you're gonna type people get killed for this type of shit? yo relax you're too invested now because at first i was questioning whether or not i'm too invested and i've admitted to saying yes I'm invested in the bullshit. I like the YouTube drama because why? I'm not here picking sides. I'm talking about both sides and I'm calling out whoever's looking goofy. And for the most part, everyone is looking goofy, but we got to understand this is WWE type shit. So everybody's just trying to get clouded up at the end of the day. DDG, everybody knows that not only are they going to grow, but a lot of the content creators below them, such as myself, are trying to ease and cook on it. Now, I'm actually familiar with DDG's content, so why not cover it? It's not like I've never watched him before, right? I've watched Pootie's content before, McQueen. Of course I watch Flight's content. He follows me back. Like, that's not the point. My joint is like, why not cover these people if I watch them? And of course, my channel strays to that audience, so why not? But the point is, you gotta be some sort of weirdo or kind of like not understanding that this shit ain't that serious or real. For the most part, it's never going to go or get to that place where DDG is going to want to, I guess, ruin his opportunity and whatever whatever's going on in his life to go kill somebody. So for you, whoever's out there typing to me like, yo, son, you got to stay out of this shit. People get killed for this type of shit. Yo, son, you're on the Internet, my guy. Relax. This type of shit is YouTube drama. Ain't nobody really making videos on YouTube, adding advertisement on their YouTube videos, ready to get shot. Like that's so stupid. And I'm just, and I'm saying that cause I'm honestly disappointed as a viewer myself that someone is sitting behind their keyboard or their phone, believing so much of this bullshit that they want to type to a content creator. Yo, stay out of it because people get killed for this type of shit. Are you serious? You need to really evaluate where you stand between reality and YouTube fake ass drama. You need to really evaluate yourself. And I'm not trying to be disrespectful, but I'm trying to be honest here because as well as I'm, I'm like entertained by this shit, a lot of my viewers are as well. And that's why I'm getting a lot of positive feedback. But it'd be that select few of like negative comments that I'm like, dude, y'all gotta take this shit like a joke. Whether y'all fans of these people or not, they don't know who you are at the end of the day. With that being said, I just wanna make it clear that whatever comments I say, I try to play both sides, I try to understand both, or just give you guys my take on it. Now I'm still gonna sit here and I'm gonna say, I don't agree with Flex in the bag, but then I watched DDG's brother, you know, his take on it, and I understand why he puts all those ads, and I respect it, he's taking care of his family, so of course he needs to add fucking how many ever, ad, however many ads onto his videos. I would do the same thing too if I'm over here paying my mom's shit, you know what I'm saying? I'll do whatever I gotta do to secure the bag. Now, people, I guess, had a problem with him doing that but no i don't have a problem with him doing that of course certain content ain't gonna be the same way or don't expect the same kind of content with that kind of quality i guess because he's really trying to push out but yo let him do him i've never had a problem with ddg doing him but of course as i sit here giving my opinions some people just get salty but let's talk about this so one of my subscribers on youtube not on youtube but on youtube hit me on twitter shout out to you my brother and he said yo now pootie's in the mix so are you gonna cover this or is it irrelevant i don't think pootie's irrelevant um, now whole shit that happened with him and I'm Dante, I understand it's all content creation at the same time. Enjoy the shit because they're giving you this free content with these little ass ads. So let's fucking enjoy it. So it seems like DDG now has gotten into the mix with Pooty and it says, Dear Pooty, you are irrelevant. I'm going to watch this with you guys. I'm going to cut it down, break it down, and then we're going to talk about it. But I have not seen Pooty's version of it. But since DDG is watching it, I'm going to watch them watch it. So let's go ahead and get this shit on and pop. The links will be in the description below if you enjoy. And if you fuck with me, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, as well as subscribe. Hit the noti bell if you, you know, if you want to get notified anytime I go live or update a video. Let's get it on and pop it, man. Go clean your dreads. You haven't watched the dreads since you got them. Damn. Every time there's some type of like problem in the group. Why are you talking about it to begin with? Why? Who was talking? 
talking to Pootie. Nobody. Damn. I fuck with this intro for some reason. Yo, let me go back real quick. I really fuck with his intro. Just that, yo, I need to hear the whole instrumental. That, it just got like a like a vibe to it, son. Like, I just need to see if there's a beat that drops to it. I'm going to keep it all the way funky. Now, I'm not trying to stop the video so much. But, yo, yeah, I ain't going to hold you up. That's a clean fucking intro. Whoever's his artist is fire. I don't get it. I honestly, I do not get it. I can't even start my video talking about what's good, YouTube, blah, blah, blah. Now, before also, I just got to make this clear. If I'm looking this way because I'm capturing OBS with the, with the actual screen on the left. So if it might confuse you that I'm looking this way because the actual video is on this side, but OBS is taking it over here. I put it over here. So just making it clear. What the fuck is this? <laughs> I just want to start off by saying that. Who asked you? When were you involved? What are you doing, nigga? You trying to, oh, oh, blah, 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 blah. Watch my video. Watch my. I'm not gonna lie. I don't think he's a drama queen. I just think, and it's not necessarily saying he's full of himself. I think he admitted that he used to try to flex too much all the shit he used to buy. I don't think he's full of himself, and I don't think he's a drama queen. I think it's more or less as, as simple as, you know when like niggas just don't got time for the bullshit, so they're like, yo, look, man, I'm getting paid, I got this going on, man, look, I got cars, I ain't got time for this shit, I think he's doing that. I mean, you could call it the flex, you know what I'm saying? But I think they're, they're now taking it and they're calling it drama queen. See, maybe I missed some sort of content, once again, that's probably why I'm kind of confused at that, so. My video, nigga, this shit is lame, bro. Like, straight up, clean your fucking dreads. Pooty, <laughs> I'm going to give you a clear message after this, okay? I'm about to see what you got to say. DDG, you are a drama queen. Mm. So lame. Lamest intro ever. Is this the shit y'all supporting? This is what y'all supporting? So I didn't end up filming uh, the rest of the video last night. I woke up this morning, and there's yet another video about the situation, man. Every time there's some type of like problem in the group. Why are you talking about it to begin with? Why? Who was talking to Booty? Nobody. Look at this nigga. <laughs> Who's talking to him? Why are you waking up thinking about me? Period. <laughs> it's no reason. I don't get it. I don't get it with you niggas. You supposed to be my homie. I don't get it. I do oh. not get it. What the fuck is wrong with these niggas? Niggas will turn friendship for some views, y'all. You gotta understand. Oh, so he's cool? Oh, shit. If he is cool, I'll be honest with you, you shouldn't even be making videos. Even if it's a small comment such as like Drama Queen, you should just call him up personally. That's another thing too, yo. If you guys are interested in making channels and y'all ever get this far, and I hope everybody makes it this fucking far, right? Because y'all gonna experience the bullshit. This is something y'all gonna have to be real, real particular with. Like, very smart and strategic. And when I say smart, like, with don't lose your relationships with people, companies, businesses, and all that shit. Especially people who, I guess, you would consider friends. Yo, people are wilding out here these days on YouTube. They willing to sacrifice their friendships for some views and that quick thousand dollars. Don't get me wrong, I sometimes think like, oh, okay, because maybe they're both in on it. Then come to find out, you just don't see these people on each other's channels anymore. And then you're, and then you're like, oh shit, this shit was actually real. I just does some, some bullshit to try to like, like fuck up like a friendship or, or, try to, or try to involve his way in some type of drama. Especially shit. This nigga is fucking with my cousin. What are you talking about? Bro, you niggas is cool. You lame as hell, bro. You let what the f my nigga, duh. You was even making videos about my cousin. You was it, had my cousin in your vlog, thinking saying I think I like DDG's cousin. But all Ooh. of a sudden you want to get on here and try to play mediator like you are mature and shit. Nigga, you more childish than me. You a drama queen, nigga. Jumping out of nowhere. The hell is wrong with these niggas, bro? And originally, I wasn't gonna take this to YouTube and, and talk about it. I could, cause I could just call this nigga, right? Then why didn't you do it? Duh, oh my God, I need to calm down, bro. I'm hot. Do y'all not see right through this shit? Do y'all not see right through it? Honestly, I don't know why DDG's getting upset. I believe him. I see through the shit. I'm not, like, I'm being dead. I see, like, last night, I made my video. 
And I was I was more on the Soul Illuminati on Soul Illuminati situation on his side. But nah, you gotta call a spade a spade. You just heard Pootie right there. I just said the shit. I said it in the beginning. You could have just called home me up. You don't need to make a fucking video on it, especially if you're gonna call him a drama queen. And I ain't know that they were actually close like that. I didn't know they were friends. This is the shit I'm telling y'all, yo. People will sacrifice whatever it is they got going on for some like views because they know if they get a couple hundred thousand views on it, they probably gonna get like 10,000 subscribers off the shits. And any amount of subscribers that come in, they probably hoping for a good 10% of y'all to continue watching. That's how the shit's really working out here on YouTube. So you gotta be smart with how you really, you know, I guess carry yourself in with your channel. And that's why people always like to call everyone drama queens, but to be quite honest, no one, I don't consider anyone to be a drama queen to be real. I would just say that these guys have everything, not them too, but a lot, most of them have everything planned out. And it's more of like a WWE soap opera. So they got their little shits going on. The drama queen part is when you got those people who did it, who are making those I'm sorry videos or I'm back or the reason why I've been gone. And they just always constantly complaining at things. Those are, I call them the drama queens. In this situation, it's all fake beef. It's all fake shit. So I wouldn't consider them drama queens because the shit is fake. This situation, though, seems more serious because he seems like he's getting kind of like irritated with the shits. You know what I'm saying? So. Because I know I see right through it. I know I'm not tripping. I know I'm not tripping. And let me check the like and dislike ratio. Are you, are you serious? Damn, son. You niggas. Fuck you. Cool. Fuck, man. Another ad. Oh, I gotta skip. You see, my problem, what the fuck he put Queen Nige on there? The problem I have with these new trailers too, bitch, is what fuck is there an intro to a trailer? You just noticed that? That was like a mini intro and then the official trailer starts, so you have a trailer to a trailer? Anyways, let's continue. What the fuck you wanna do, scene? Like, to let DDG know that Flight only went with his cousin uh, so he could smash. Now, let me know if that make any sense. Let's say you watching this video, right? Let's say you are dating your your friend's cousin. And now yo now someone tells your friend who you have beef with that you are only dating your friend's cousin so you can smash. Is is that is that the right person to get that information from? Does that make Look at Pody knows before we even continue. Just pay attention to his nose for three seconds. And you let me know right now. Is that a nose? That should be in anybody's business. You know what you're gonna find out when you keep looking at this nose? That Pootie is capping. And Pootie is one nosy ass nigga. And then uh, yesterday, DDG called, called Flight personally. He literally called Flight and asked him. Flight did not once say in the whole video that he was with DDG's cousin just to smash. That had come out of nowhere. So then he goes on today. Do you not get that through your head? Do you not get that through your head? The only nigga you knew longer than me is Chart. But all of a sudden, you dick sucking Flight and McQueen. I'm gonna be 100%. I kind of just stopped the video. Uh, and not because of DDG. I honestly stopped the video because of Pootie. Um, Pootie was making zero sense to me. And, and not, that be not because he didn't know what he was saying. There was just too much shit coming out at once. Like, I knew where he was coming from, but it seemed like an upload that just because of the situation that's going on, he wanted to cook. Let's just keep it honest. But I was a bit confused with Pootie, and I don't have to go to Pootie's video because he played pretty much most of it. But yeah, man, whatever Pootie was saying, he should have waited until he knew something concrete, or at least not to, like, I guess, stutter so much. Because he was kind of up and down with what he was saying. With this whole si shit that's going on, Obviously, this may seem more real, but like, I can't agree with DDG when he says stay in your place. They're all doing it. At, each and every one of them. They know what they're doing. They're all trying to, you know, cloud off each other. And at the same time, I'm not saying that to be negative, but yo, dudes is just trying to eat. Because you're going to see all this beef shit go on. And then maybe like in a month or two, you're going to notice clean ass content because why they all were able to get the sub numbers up. They all got consistent audiences. And towards the end, you're going to probably see that a lot of them come back together being cool. They're going to squash most of the shit. And if they, excuse me, and if they don't, they probably have a strategy to one day soon squash the bullshit or something's going to happen. They're going to squash the bullshit. But these guys aren't stupid. So once again, Pootie wasn't probably, he, I mean, I knew what he wanted to say. 
but it just didn't come out right because he just kept stuttering and he was a bit all over the place but of course you know ddg's doing his videos doing his thing i just feel like nobody here's a drama queen nobody here, and not and i could call these guys drama queens but no they're all they know what they're doing this isn't real if this was real shit i would be like yo they are super corny because they're doing fucking videos on each other responding to each other through facetime and at the same time i could be called corny because i'm reacting to the shit and i'm talking about it as a gossip dude you know what i'm saying and at the same time it's comparable to when these rappers used to fucking get on facetime with each other threatening each other you know what i'm saying so it's all cornball shit but these guys this is all being acted out as far as ddg or Pootie, that may be more serious it seems like ddg was a bit annoyed by the shit of course but as far as mcqueen and flight and all the other shit man half that shit is fake bro dudes is just trying to cloud off each other um, that's pretty much what I have to say next, but this is this is not gonna end. I, I'm gonna keep it funky with you I think so. I don't think Soul's involved in any of it real being real a lot of people have problems with Soul Illuminati So I think he's gonna make his own videos and he's gonna try to call out they bullshit as he always does Of course, but these guys are gonna take that and they're gonna try to cloud over it That's just a strategy man marketing strategy Remember, man, it's different. You got the drama alert Keemstar shit where you got him calling out pedos and all that shit Nobody want to be a part of that shit but then you got this side of YouTube where I guess they know what they're doing. It's almost like real shit. It's almost like loving hip hop type shit. I'm being honest, yo. And I'm just here trying to fucking monitor this whole shit and be like, you call them like the codcaster, mediators and shit. I'm just commentating over the bullshit. Same as everyone else. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Your personal thoughts on this situation. Do you really think they drama queens if it's fake? You get what I'm saying? Or if you believe it's real, then I can respect it as being a drama queen. But yeah, it's your boy 3MG. If you fuck with your boy, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. And if you really fuck with me, follow my Instagram. I just hit 2K on that bitch. And I really appreciate y'all for that. As well as my Twitter. So gang, gang, I'm out of here. God bless everyone. Have a good night and be safe. Peace. It don't make no sense for me to say gang, gang. And then say be safe. Anyways though, peace. Yeah, I was told you, I was told you. The weather's cold, we're getting older. Things even change when it gets colder. But we'll move on just like a mountain. The sun is gone.